Welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Now, politics is a very interesting field, as you're well aware of. It is, especially here in Ghana, and many have used it to rise to the top quicker than they probably would have if they were developing a career outside politics. But it is increasingly becoming expensive to run a campaign, successful or not, and driving quality talent out of politics. That's at least what some people believe. Now, the recent controversy over the nomination and filing fee among NDC flag bearer aspirants is one clear indication of how high cost of political campaigns can exclude excellent candidates from politics. Well, yesterday, IDEC held a forum where politicians shared their views on this matter. One of them is Elvis Efriye Ankara, who was campaign coordinator for the John Mahama 2016 presidential campaign. Here's what he had to say. First of all, we spend too much money in our electioneering. And now when people put in money, they expect returns. That creates potential room for corruption. Now, there are people who legitimately give money, their houses, whatever it is to support, and there's nothing wrong with that. But when we spend too much money on our electioneering, both internal and external, and we don't regulate and manage the way it's, it's, it's been done, it will get to a, a point where it may not be sustainable and the citizens may react ne negatively. So all I'm saying is that we need to have a conversation, as we've had today, about ways by which we finance our political parties, ways by which we can limit the quantum of money that goes into funding our political parties, so that the temptation or the tendency that the people fund heavily, they may demand payback, and that payback may not come in very transparent ways, will be minimized. At the end of the day, it's about roads, it's about schools, it's about hospitals, it's about potable drinking water. When the citizens see us spending so much on our campaigns, and yet they don't have water, they don't have schools, they drive on bad roads, hospitals, etc., it will get to a point they will react, believe me. And that makes a lot of sense, and I'm sure it does to you as well. But we're going to start the conversation. In the studio, I have Nana Ubri Boyne, he's the Deputy General Secretary of the governing NPP. He will help us discuss this matter. Nana, you're welcome to the show, and Thank you, my many sister. thanks for your time. Oh, we'll also be joined on uh, Skype by Dr. Kobe Mensah of the University of Ghana Business School. He's also a political science lecturer at the Ghana Institute of Journalism, so a very good blend there for us for this conversation. And then we'll pick on the thought of an IT expert who will share with us tools which can help minimize cost of running election campaigns. But first of all, listen to Peter McMenu, who headed President Akufado's 2016 campaign. I am proposing at the back of a final proposed 2008 draft bill of public funding of political parties under the auspices of the i.e. Institute of Economic Affairs, with major features such as, such as the establishment of a political party fund. The principal source of the money for the fund is 2.5% of the total tax revenue of Ghana. The fund is to be administered by the Electoral Commission. A formula for disbursement of the fund comprising reimbursement for electoral expenses and general administration. A provision to encourage political parties to fill women that is also part of development. You have to bring our women and those marginalized into mainstream politics. So this is included in the funding bill, that there should be a provision to encourage both car parties to fill women as candidates in election. And it's also in the SDG, uh, which I have spoken about already. And the fund is, should be exempted from tax, and provision is made for annual audit of the fund an annual report made to Parliament. Peter McMenu there, he headed the campaign for the Kufa, Kufa 2016. Let's start with the conversation, and I'm going to start right now and right here with Nana Obrit-Bwahin. So we've had whatever Elvis Efri Ankara had to say. We've also had Peter McMenu. So basically there is a draft, and people are saying that what we've seen in the NDC shows clearly that we need to have this conversation. But conversation, where do we start? How do we even start? And to what end? Well, um, perhaps uh, let me be very honest with you. It's not easy organizing elections in a political party. It's not easy at all. 
And then let me be very sincere and honest with you. As far as the new patriotic party is concerned, you now I've been in the party since 1992. Okay. We are very fortunate. You honestly. Mean the NPP? Yes, honestly. What, why would you say that? You see, a lot of Ghanaians are prepared to, to and are ready to give out okay. the last money for the new patriotic party. A uh, lot of Ghanaians are ready to give money, but nobody is really for the Christmas. Oh, yes. But you see, people have love for the party. I'm talking from the MPP's experience and MPP okay. perspective. Instances where people will donate a good amount of money, but they'll tell us, they'll tell that, don't mention my name. You can mention the figure. Okay. Well, before but don't we go mention into it, my name. Before we go into it, and I'd like to, for you to share with us the NPP experience, like you're saying, but... I, again, I'm saying, if we need to have a conversation about financing political parties, where do you think we should start? Well, I think that yesterday I heard Evans of Free Yankra's view and that of Mark Mano. I welcome their views, especially with that of Evans when he said that, look, we should not create a situation where every Tom, Dick and Harry will set up a political party. Mm. Apparently, with the view of getting something from the state. Okay. And I also share the same sentiments of McMenu, who said that, look, if you're able to attain these figures, then the state will come in to reimburse you part of what you've, what you've spent. Mm. I personally share you with your sentiments. Okay. Yes. So, so I believe that you must take a second look at state sponsorship of political parties. Okay. However, there are some who have considered, and of course, if you look at the Hofstian definition of politics in Augustine's definition, of politics and politics, a group of people who have come together mm. with a view of winning the political power of the state. Mm. And therefore, like the accounts you said, what's my mm. idea? Now I talk pretty. If you are prepared to join a political party, form a political party, you must be able to raise money to finance your activities. Okay. Somehow I agree with them, but I still believe that. The suggestion they put up by McMenu and Elvis, if you mm. hear, we should look at it very well. We should look at it yeah, very well. Yeah, you can blend okay. the two. Okay, it's we'll, very important. we'll come to that. Let's now learn from the NPP's experience you were sharing with me um, earlier. You say there are people who just love to, exactly. give, to give their money, their properties to the party. Exactly. How has it been since you joined the party in 1992? Is, is there a clear structure for funding of the party in NPP? Oh, well, what has been in that? Money's contributions are received, monies are then transmitted to the regional, then from the regional to the uh, constituencies. Okay. And the monies come from where? Donations, individuals. Could you believe that the vehicle I'm using now, mm -hmm. a very heavy vehicle? V8. Top down George. Down George. Okay. Somebody bought it for me. How much do you, do you think it costs? It will be around 200,000 Ghana cities. An individual. CDs. An individual, just for the love of the party, hmm. bought the vehicle, donated the vehicle. And the vehicle's with me here. So the person donated a vehicle to, to the me NPP and or Obri to you? To me and no Obri Boy. Wha as why? My, my contribution, the role and the services are friended to the party. The person An must individual. be very rich. An individual. In the country now. What, what else? So, what so else? It tells me that, look, and then I've been going outside Ghana, mm. especially when you go to Europe. I am saying that, my good little sister, unlike the other political parties, I don't know much about other political parties, but if you look at how people are prepared to donate, people are prepared to give out market women. So you want to go to so the market 2016. Market women were prepared to give out. Cassava, cocoa, yam, tomatoes, pepper, go to so Sawa. Somebody people are prepared to give and bread, no. go to Kumase, Yasa, chop bar, you mm. go and eat, she reduce it for you. No, no. Once you belong if to somebody, the If an individual was able to buy you a car that cost 200,000 CDs, what else, I mean, what else did they do for candidate Kufuado in 2016? Well, I don't what, know. What, what kind of contributions I came in? I don't know, but I'm just singling out this particular. So, as far as the new patriotic party is concerned, mm. I think, and I can, at all times of material, people are prepared to go all out to protect 
to defend, to donate for the new patriotic party. So how does the party regulate the line of donation so that, you know, one person doesn't uh, benefit uh, or, or, or people do not misuse or abuse the system? How no, do you regulate it? as far as it? the party is concerned, we don't abuse the system. How do you regulate it? We regulate it. In this, my particular case, this is a personal donation. Mm -hmm. I've told a good number of friends that tell Mr. A that express my appreciation to him. Okay. Oh, are you related to all Oh, express my appreciation to him. In terms of the the party headquarters. Organizational structure. Yes. Some sometimes you have some donating about two thousand, three thousand T shirts. Okay. Some will even tell you that I have five hundred T shirts. I am sending the T shirts to Bunkunku Yo Yo. Mm -hmm. I have two and tomorrow. Yes, mm -hmm. I think tomorrow, Saturday, a lady from the United States of America, Dr. Tina, is donating items to the Wanchi constituency MPP. She's in Ghana, apparently to make that donation. She came all the way from the United States of America. Because Dr. she lost the party. She lost the party. So the point is, but in the MPP, you collect dues as well. We collect dues. So how do you differentiate between the party's own generated funds from dues and donations? Do you put all of these in one account and then you spend it as and when the party I'm, I'm, needs? I'm, I'm happy you've raised the issue of dues. <laughs> People don't pay their dues. <laughs> People don't pay. People don't pay. <laughs> and you see, imagine you go to Abronya, my <laughs> village, and then you ask them that. You are supposed to pay five Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. My good sister. They will not pay? Oh, they, they will tell you that may we know how much if, if, if you are given to us before you... What, what a contrast. So there are people who are willing to buy, say, 200,000 uh, worth of vehicle to be, and donate, and donate to me, and but, but, but there, are, there are people who don't want to pay the five yes, cities. The due. poverty level. Why? Okay. The level of poverty. You go to, it is not only abroad yet. Go to the rural areas. Why, 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 why do you single out Abronia, by the way? That is where is I it? come from. I don't want ah. to mention any other village. Ah. And for one reason or the other, okay. if you run the village and down, then people will take you to task. People okay. will run insults you. They rain insults on you. Okay. So that's why I'm comfortable with my village. How much did the NPP receive in donations for 2016? Oh, I was not a member of the campaign team, and I cannot tell. Okay, you've not, you've not even heard anything? No, 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 the committee was set up, and the committee monitored it. Okay. And the committee received the donation. So but in this see, case... it is not it, even the contributions or the donations going to the committee. Sometimes we'll be moving from Sinyani to uh, Accra to Kumasi. Mm. You talk to a friend, let me take one particular friend, Amwa of Goyal. Mr. Amo, I'm mm -hmm. going. Mr. Amo, I'm going to Sinan. Oh, lawyer. Oh, okay. On the campaign trail, yes. Oh, go to the nearby goil filling station. I have a friend. He owns a lot of goil filling stations. I'll talk to them and I'll pay for them. Manzi in Kumasi. Afakra, a lot of them. Kekos Oguakoto. And Oguakoto, Oguakoto will tell them, look, if you are in Kekos uh, to conduct business for MPP, if you are supposed to pay uh, 200 Ghana at my hotel, inform me you will pay 100 Ghana. And these people Once again, do let me these. That. Mm -hmm. I'm people as a party. We are very much grateful for our financiers, our supporters, our activists, and our sympathizers. And these outside people, Ghana, these people, outside Ghana, mm -hmm. Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria. Come on. And, and how, many, how many of the people who finance the party, for example, ha have had, uh, you know, some kind of contract? They are not a lot of them are not interested. At a all. lot of them, but some are. I'm saying a good number of them. But some to, are. Or some are, they don't come to me. Who do they go to? No, if you want contract, you know it. You have to go, you pass through the process. Okay. Let me uh, also... Go mm. out to the United States of America. Look, you have Dr. a lot Tina of donors mentioned, from there. Mentioned, Go to Germany, Becky and the rest. Go to UK, Hamilton. Look, you You know all of them by heart. I know all of them. I've been with the party since 1992. So virtually every corner of the party in this country. So, so you should have an idea how much you got in 2016. No, that is why I'm saying that. Look, even the, the uh, Manzi in Kumase contributing fuel to my nephew, Kwan Bafwa project. 
How can you quantify? Uh, but, but you can still quantify the cash that you, you receive. At least. You cannot. You went to the Shinwane market. People donated tomato, pepper, onion. Oh, I understand MPP are going to have a, a constituency conference, congress. But that's different from the monies that but they, they no, It's the same donation, uh, contribution. I, I, what I was asking is how much you received in cash. It's in politics in Ghana, you cannot. Let me be very honest and sincere. Somebody will bring you treated water. Uh, a trap full of treated water. How can you quantify that? Okay, hold on. As for MPP, let me mm. be very honest. We are fortunate. And let me take this opportunity and doff my hat to our supporters, sponsors, financiers, and activists. People love the party. From the Dankwa, Buzia, Dombo, Kofu, mm. Akufuado era up to now. And you think we are that, extremely happy. And you think that this, the request or the, the suggestions that are being made for these monies that flow into the party to be regulated. Oh, it is uh, very important, but I'm saying that it is not easy at all. It is not going to it be It is easy. not easy at okay, all. Okay, let me bring in uh, Dr. Kobi Mensah. Like I said, he's with the University of Ghana. The point of course, I've never mm. been an MP before. You have, oh, no problem. We've not mentioned that. <laughs> We've not mentioned that. Uh, <laughs> he's feeding off uh, my prompter here. But anyway, let me bring in Dr. Kobi Mensah. Um, Dr. Kobi Mensah is with the University of Ghana Business School. And like I said, he's also a political uh, scientist. He's at, at the Ghana Institute of Journalism. So a very good blend there. Dr. Kobi Mensah, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Now, we're having this conversation about funding political parties. So we've seen from the NDC's experience where the party members or the flag bearers, people who want to be flag bearers themselves, complained about the amounts that has been charged. But the party said, look, we need this money to uh, uh, organize our Congress. For you and for, for, for you, you know, you, you're cutting both business and, and, and political science. So from where you sit, where do we, where do we kind of uh, draw that balance as far as regulating this enterprise is, is concerned? How do we do it? Hi, thank you for having me. Now, listening to Nana Obrebohain, I I'm kind of sad. You know, with the kind of political system that we have. I mean, it is well and good to actually appreciate that a lot of people like, you know, the MP and they are prepared to actually spend on the party. But I think these are some of the things that actually make this and the politicians very inefficient. Mm. Because we don't take measures to specialize and streamline uh, all these in the processes make sure that we better enhance our democratic you know, experiences to that. I mean, if somebody would buy you in a door, but the grassroots people are not prepared to pay a five to this as a juice, mm. you should really get the sense of what it means. means that the people on the ground, that the political parties or the politicians, are very irresponsible not prepared to pay their a lot. They're not prepared so that they would have enough who had to contribute to the party, you know, the parties in the uh, activity. I thought that they could work politicians. Dr. Kobe Mensa, we're know, having we're a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge hearing you smoothly. But if I get you right, you're saying that what uh, you had Nano Brian says uh, uh, say makes you sad because it, 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 it points to the fact that there are people who are willing to pay huge amounts to political parties, but there are also people at the grassroots who are unable to contribute. And you say that's a problem? It's a problem because the very people that actually you know, during the policy, the parties are so responsible that they are not the contribution of five cities. Because they're poor. And like she, he said, People are not prepared to pay because they don't see the fact that those who are actually giving the choice that they can. That tells you that our political party is not development oriented. I mean, if we are serious about this democracy, what stops us from making sure that we can document even the fuel that somebody is actually giving yeah. you as a political party? Yeah. And then accounting for that as a but we are inefficient because we know that when you want to do your campaign, people would just stand up and say, oh, go and do this stuff, do this stuff, do that. 
And because that our politicians will not be efficient, would be careless with resources. I, I think we'll have, have to we'll have to work on this sound okay. and and get you because I think you're making very uh, insightful points there, uh, instructive points you're making there. But uh, we need to get you clearly. You say, from what I'm hearing, that this, if we should allow people to continue continue contributing, uh, individuals continue contributing uh, to political parties in a way that is not regulated, in a way that is not development oriented, then it makes the politician inefficient. Um, Nana, I'd like for you to and respond. I'm right. no, if doctor has been to one of his villages to do a campaign before. He's just making an academic argument. But, Honestly, what, but, but, but what is wrong with an academic argument? It's supposed to, that's why to academia village, is there. You don't go to the village and then you begin to talk about academic issues with the, the, the villager. No, 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 but, no, but let's look at the substantive point that he makes. He's saying that there are people who can pay at the very, the, those who are the grassroots level cannot pay. But there are individuals who can afford to pay huge sums of amount. It's certainly because they have interest, and that interest not, ends up. Not, it's not a and, 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 that, and that interest ends up making you, the politician, inefficient at your job. That is never correct. Be because then it weakens your hand when it comes to that dealing with them. That is never doesn't correct. It? Mm. The businessman who doesn't his name to come, uh, his name to be mentioned, have bought a vehicle worth almost two hundred thousand and given the vehicle to Nana Obriwai. Look, you have been a very good lawyer, committed member of MPP. From the bottom of my heart, I'm giving you this vehicle. Yeah, but that, those are not, those, that can, that's, uh, you, I can say you, that's a rare, exactly. it's a, it's a, it's a you, rare you, thing Once again, happen, let right. me talk about the village. Mm. You've gone to the village to do a campaign. At the end of the day, you have distributed t-shirts. Somebody will tell you that because you didn't give me a t-shirt. Not even t-shirt, poster. I didn't get the poster, so I'm not going to vote for you. Is that what happens? It happens. Poster, poster, poster. Not even T-shirt. Let's not talk about T-shirt. Poster. You didn't give me a poster. So I won't vote for so you. So I will not vote. And lo and behold, the man will not vote. So, I mean, he's putting up academic... So the point is... He's the every tower. Dr. Kobe Mensah is the every tower. Lego. So, <laughs> you see... He created them, no, them. I, don't, I think that the point he's making is that, look, at the end of the day, what you see, and it's like the point that Elvis made, that we're not being development oriented because there is a sharp, uh, there is a sharp uh, space, there's a huge gap between the house and the have nots. If you're making these contributions to parties, huge amounts of contributions to parties, it should be because you want them to help develop. And so you, why don't you regulate it in such a way that the 200,000 that are coming can go to those who cannot pay the five. No, five the, look, let's look at the analysis from this angle. Mm. I'm so much happy, interested in the MPP. Yeah. And therefore, therefore, I'm prepared. This was some, I'm prepared to give about 10,000 t shirts. Yeah. 10,000 t shirts. You understand? Mm -hmm. Look, Kennedy, Japan, and one businessman. If I tell you the number of pickups they donated to our party, you'll be surprised. But that is what, and that's Hold a very on. perfect example. Hold on. Okay. Yes, because just that you are in opposition. We want to make sure that we come to power. So I'm donating this number of pickups. Others, teachers, and what have you. Some came all the way from Japan. They call him Bernard. He's in Tokyo. He came all the way from Tokyo to Ghana 2016 to campaign. For the MPP, okay. he went to all virtual every village in the Oman area. Okay. He distributed uh, posters, t-shirts, and the rest. MPP came to power. His satisfaction, Bernard's satisfaction is that the NPP will come into power. As well. But you mentioned, you gave an example of uh, Kennedy Japan. Everybody knows that Kennedy Japan is a businessman. Everybody knows that Kennedy Japan is a very influential person in the NPP because of these contributions that you refer to. And people have said that, look, there are things that this man says, there are things that he supported. Take Delta, uh, the Delta Forces incident in, 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 um, in the Ashanti region. People say that, look, it looks as if th this man has so much influence within the party. This man, because at a point he was speaking for the people, they say that this man has so much influence in the party, and that again is because he has contributed no, financially. No, 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 no. Okay. I am saying no. Now, no, people are sitting here. 
I've been accused on several occasions that I've thrown my weight behind Delta Falls made them. I've been, um, I've been accused of having thrown my weight behind Delta Force and Simba. The bottom line is that I am saying that, look, as far as the new patriotic party is concerned, people are prepared to die for the party. But we know that people are donating a lot people, of money. People and are donating people, and, and those for people the party. have influence in the party. That which is, is never gambling. correct. No? As far as the MPP is concerned. Okay. That is a never correct. As far some are interested in the fact that MPP is in power. That That's is all. all. That is all. But some, you say some, which yeah. is a very good. A good word. number of them. But so there's As still some. All of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we need to be very careful. In our party, if, if you say in some our of them, party, if uh, you look at how mm. some have been financing them, sometimes you will be marvelled. Okay, if you take a, a scale some on a scale of out their, on a scale of ten, how many of them would want to donate without? Uh, expecting anything at none. all from the party. None. Let me be very honest. None, none. none want to donate without expecting... Actually, look, people are ready to, to donate. Some will give a yes, full I, I, I'm whole not, I'm burden. Not, I'm not sure, that you, got, burden I, I'm not sure that you got the point. The point He's is... He's making that donation. No, not the, just because you come to the okay, party for so I think, a contract okay, or so, for a position. So what I'm saying is that if you say none of them have contributed without expecting anything. It means that all of them contributed expecting something. No. Is that the point you're no, making? No, that, that's the other Is that the way around? That's the other But okay. let them be very honest. Mm -hmm. So I cannot talk about other political parties. But in all sincerity, and speaking as, a, uh, as, as somebody who has been following politics in this country, I used to ask myself, so why is it that people are prepared to go all out? Why? Because people have much confidence in the new patriotic party. Really? Exactly. Okay. Let's much let's confidence. try. Let's try again, Dr. Kobe Mensa. Dr. Kobe Mensa, here is a rebuttal of the point that you made. Nana Obibuahi here does not agree with you at all. He thinks actually that you're talking academic. You're doing he says yes, you're doing you're doing book, book knowledge. knowledge. Book knowledge. But, but when you get you to the go ground to the yes, Nana. He, he says when you get to the ground. <laughs> In a one of the political actors that I like so much, you know, <laughs> he, he speaks passionately, you know, about issues that and I, I'm just you know, enjoying the kind of uh, position we have. You see, but, but let me say that Nana himself made a point that the people who are in his village, when you ask them why don't you want to pay, they ask him, what have you done for us? Yeah. That you expect us to pay five Ghana. Yeah. No, 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 my point I'm making is that we haven't, we haven't been able to get in these resources that we, 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 we gather from this year. So in MPP, for example, so many companies in MPP who understand that people understand what we call endowment, mm. what we call funding. To what extent are we using knowledge to ensure that endowment fund or this party through it. Now, he at what asked and how about that he well, knew how it, much what? the party election. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing here, born in 2008, he brought a fund. Okay, we'll have to get we'll yeah. have to get you back. Dr. Kobe Mensa, we'll have to get you back and get that point that you're making. But I think that I get to a point where you say that at the end of the day. The pe there are people in MPP, he said, you people understand business a lot. There are lots of people in there because, of course, you, you believe in capitalism. Tradition. So, uh, exactly. So he's saying that there are people in the NPP who believe in the endowment, but they believe in, you know, all these business. But the point is that it has not trickled down. So at the end of the day, what is you it see, you see, that you've achieved? You see, look, with due respect to you, my dear sister, and our listeners, you are in a society, you are in an area we are in an environment, we, and we should not restrict ourselves only to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Africa, south of the Sahara. Africa, south of the Sahara. Where somebody tells you that, look, if you cannot provide me with a poster, mm -hmm. a poster, 
a poster of Nana Dodankwa, or a poster of President Mahama, or a poster of Pauka Shindu, I'm not going to vote for that party. It tells you that politics in Africa, south of the Sahara, is different from politics. Dr. Kwame Mensa is talking about politics in Britain. No, politics isn't that, isn't that a places. failure on the it's part of political parties who are seeking the to system. govern? The political parties who are seeking to govern to bring goodness to the people who live to, for the greater good of the greater number. Isn't it a failure on your part? No. That at the end of the day, only the, uh, the monies that are trickling in for the party, the big monies, the big donations that are coming, only the parties are only enjoying it, making sure that they enjoy the political power. But at the end of the day, the people they are governing gets nothing. That is not correct. You see, look, once again, let's go back to Abronye. If you, I'm sure uh, Abronye will give you a call after the show. <laughs> my village, it's my village. <laughs> that, my village, Abronye. Mm. If you want to be a paid up member of the new patriotic party, you must pay five CDs a month. Okay. Let's reduce it to two CDs a month. I am telling you, you can get only about five or six members. Two CDs a month. Dr. Kobe Mensa sits at the university and he thinks that, oh, two CDs a month is, is perhaps on the lower side. Let's have a register. People should pay them, you register the names and this and this and that. He's talking about politics at, at the Ivory Tower. So it means that you have failed the people. The it is political not. Parties the system, the situation on the ground. What is the situation the on situation the ground? The situation on the ground. That the, the situation you promised to make better. And this is what we are doing. But I'm saying that you cannot do not take a day or two. It will take so many years. In Britain, they started political activities for more than seven or eight hundred years ago. And therefore, hmm. nobody will come to you to ask you for a poster. If you don't give me a poster, I'm not going to vote for you. If you don't give me a t-shirt, I'm not going to vote for you. It's about the empowerment of the people. How it's the not people, a question of it's, empowerment. It's how, it's about how the people are empowered with system, education. The system. Because, because you, I will not ask you for a poster to vote for but, you. But, but That's because I'm educated. That's because I'm educated. With your apologies, with your apologies, but virtue of the father, you are resourceful. You educated. I'm educated. You, that's the bottom line, really. You are resourceful. And that's you why your your you know candidate. Left and right. Because I'm educated. You know you're left. Be, because I'm educated. Let me tell you something. 1979, during Ilhan Imam's era, and I bet, I bet there was a political party that has a symbol. I bet. I think was it 1979. Yes, I think 1979. I bet. Then. Somebody was asked, ah, why are you so much interested in Abe Hila Lima? He said, ah, Abe Kwanede. You listen to this very well. Abe Kwanede. And therefore, I'm going to vote for Abe. And the man voted for Abe. No, but the so, point I'm making is that Dr. I'm Dr. saying... Dr. Kobe Mensah mm -hmm. will sit at, at Legon, the Avery Tower, and tell that, hey, what is happening? How should somebody vote for Abe? That's 1979. But, again... But you see, the again, reality on the ground I, I, is that... The man doesn't care a hoot. He says that Abe Kwanede, I, and I, therefore I'll vote for Abe, and he voted for Hillary Mom's party. Again, Nana, it boils down to the level of education of the populace, which is why your candidate, Nana Ekufuado, who and is now is president, why party is making sure that which is free why, and, and that's the point I'm coming free to. Senior high but again, but again, for the next fifty years, uh, when some of us are dead, things will change. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes, free That's senior high school. Answer. The next 15 years, when some of us are dead, <laughs> Dr. Sis over there, he reads the thesis. <laughs> what he's saying for me is very, very good. But these are matters meant for Holland, Germany, Britain. Nobody will come to you for a poster. Nobody will come to you for okay. a t-shirt. Okay, Dr. Kovimenta, I'd like for you to respond to what he has just said. But when you're done, let's look at, because you keep referring to Nana, because you keep referring to what's happening in the Western world, I'll tell you about what's happening in the United States of America. And then we wrap up the conversation. But Dr. Kobe Mensa, respond to the point that he's made right now. Yeah, Nana, you see, the, the supporters of MPP are not only those in Abroad. You have a huge supporters in Sekedi Takradi, for example, who can pay five cities. You have a huge support in, you know, even uh, my own, uh, what do you call, constituency, Ayawa uh, Suwago, which uh, unfortunately we just lost our, our, mm. our MP, yeah. you know. You have a huge support there. Very many people there can pay five cities, you know, as a, a Jews, you know, to the party. But why are they not paying that? Because mm -hmm. even the small ones, the one that you gathered during the 2016 election, that is, Adopt the police station or adopt the police station, etc. The scratch mm. card that you actually 
you know, issue that. After the election, and we didn't hear you oh, okay. publish an account okay. to say that this is how okay. much we actually okay. you know, got from these people. Okay. And not so many people who actually adopted police stations and never even got a letter oh, okay. to say that, congratulations, thank you for supporting us. Meanwhile, when Obama does his campaign and gathered a small, small point, he publishes that on the website. In fact, the last time we heard about the MPP in a contribution, we heard that somebody deposited or took the money from the account opened it, another account, etc. But we never had account of how much you are gathered from the trash card, from the adopted police station, and you yourself actually attested to the fact that you don't even know how much the party, you know, gathered, mm. you know, during the election. And, but you don't have to be part of the campaign. You are part of an MPP uh, in the family. You are, in fact, a store yeah. wall in MPP. So those figures, unless of course you don't want to tell us, and that's what, that's why you are saying you are oh. not part of the campaign. Oh, well, <laughs> but those figures, <laughs> those figures, those figures are important, figures and and and, you know? and 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 they promote and, accountability. Exactly, and right. then I, when people realize that the parties have been accountable, in fact, there are so many MPP backers in the University of Ghana who will be prepared to give the party how much you oh, want. Oh. And then they will be ever ready to do that. <laughs> but because they don't see our political parties being accountable, they're not prepared to give that money. Okay. My point I'm making is that because we're not capturing some of these funds and the reporting back, our political parties are being inefficient because they know that when they're going for this, somebody will say, let's, let's go and draw the you know, free fuel. How do you account for free fuel? And sometimes I don't blame you. I blame maybe the EP, for example. To what extent is the EC making sure that the parties are accountable? But then, Dr. Kobi Mensa, if the yes. party, if the political parties make it difficult for the EC to carry out a mandate such as regulating their finances, then it will certainly be because it is not even, no. it is not even, no. it, it is it not is even not, in it law. Is not, it is not for the political parties to be taken to the EC. The EC has been given the mandate to run with zero democracy in Ghana. Okay. How do they ensure that political parties, not even political parties, but even political actors, immediately you decide that you want to run for an MP. Right. How do we ensure that, one, you have a treasurer, two, you have an auditor, yeah. to make sure that your books are actually transparent. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, the yeah. point I wanted to make earlier was that okay. the political parties have intelligent people who can actually advise them on investment. You know, okay. if you look at NDC, for example, they have a huge building. To what extent are they putting that building to use to, so that they can raise money? They don't. Mm. Now, when okay. you look at the internal party, you know, uh, vote, like just what the NDC had the last the last few few weeks, mm. you know, you have, you know, the, the, the votes that were from regional bases. Yeah. How did they capture the data so that in future, if somebody wants to contest for, let's say, another in a position, they can go back to the party and say, oh, I want to buy that data of how people vote yeah. so that I can analyze okay. it okay. and then be sure that... So, I so, so basically the parties are not is, monetizing their activities to make money of it, point. and so they are they are having to rely on donations, which then that's brings the, the problems, because you don't know what the interest or the motive behind that donation uh, that's coming that's in. That's correct. We're because going to wrap up. Then I said that they have a lot of people who have donated houses Yes. yes. How do we put those houses to a they, 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 It's not accounted for. It's not accounted for. So very well, we're, we're wrapping up this conversation quickly, Nana. I'll have yes, you. I'll, I'll have you. Yes, I think that, um, in all honesty, I I share the sentiments. Okay. With regards to accountability. Of, yes. Where is one? Let's adopt one police station. Mm. Who are those who did adopt? Police station A. How much did you make? How much did the party? Who make are those who that? did adopt police station A? Do we know how much you yeah, made? I'm just coming to that. Okay. How much did we raise from those who adopted police station mm. A? Uh, what about police station B? Let's publish the names. Do you have that mm. yes, information? Yes. You and the MPP has it. Yes, you have it. So your, do your members have it? Yes, yes, you have that. I'm saying that I, I share his sentiments. Don't keep them to yourselves. Publish them so that the man who have his name published 
But you don't do that. The, no, I, that is why I say I share. It. I that it has to be done. Uh, yes. It has to be done. Yes. Okay. Scratch okay. cards. Okay. How much did you raise in Ashanti region? Okay. Brafo, okay. Vota. Okay. Well, I, once again, also, I share the sentiments. I, have, I was going to use Ayawaso West Wagon. Mm. If you go to Ayawaso West Wagon and you say that, look, 550 Ghana cities a month, mm -hmm. you get more than about 20,000. Okay. But there are some constituencies in Ghana. You won't get that. You amount. will not. Very so well. it is a that, that suggestion. Very well. This will be your much, much of his contributions. I look at them from an angle of. Uh, uh, you still academia, think that it's an academia, academia uh, talking, perspective. But well. they are very good suggestions. <laughs> very well. Very very good. The, very but well. Not now. My, my, this uh, this, will, this will be the final round of comments. Um, Mr. Kobe, Dr. Kobe Mensa, what what I want you to address for us. We've seen what happened in the United States of America. Uh, Donald Trump's uh, lawyer, his personal lawyer, ha has been jailed. Yes. He's been jailed because he paid some monies uh, to, to you know, keep some women quiet from disturbing his campaign. That's, and, and, and that's because there is a law. There is a law that regulates the activities of political parties and that regulates how much you, you, you spend and what you do with that money uh, uh, in the United States of America. That certainly doesn't apply here. No, it does. You see, we fail to prosecute you know, our processes or we fail to interrogate our processes over a period of time. Now, since 1992, we have been practicing in a democracy. We have been reviewing, especially the ballot boxes, etc. How do we subject the entire processes into a review to make sure that we are up to date? How do we do that? Software? How do we do Your so quick we, academia... Uh, perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see, the EC has to commission, you know, uh, uh, some people who understand both the political actors, that is the, the practitioners, and then of course, what that I would say, the academia, all right? Hmm. And then for us to interrogate each item of our electoral process and say, okay, to what extent do we review this and then bring in new measures to make sure that we don't abuse it? As I speak now, we say that the campaign doesn't start you know, until four months to the election, the three or four months, Nana, please. Mm. No, yet we are able, to, we see campaigning every day on social media, which means that the advent of social media has now made campaigning, you know, forever. I mean, people can choose to campaign the entire, you know, electoral cycle. How do we actually make sure that we plug in those, those uh, what do you call, those uh, loopholes? Mm. Again, now, I come to you, how? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to sit down and then interrogate the person because I cannot prepare solutions okay. right here as we speak. Well. But we need to sit down as, as, as stakeholders, interested stakeholders, right from the practitioners to the academia to the ordinary Ghanaian. Let mm. us see some of the sophistication that has been into campaigning to electioneering and then see how do we make sure that our systems are robust. Accountability is, is nowhere in, in, in Ghana, but that is worrying okay. because it makes, it makes, you know, what uh, Professor... You know, they think talked about, you know, as a, a, what, a political entrepreneurs who have actually hijacked the political yeah. parties because they can pay more than what the ordinary citizens can the actually campaign. contribute. Yeah. But if we yeah. want democracy to work for us, mm. then all of us must contribute. Look, then people are prepared. So your final to words. To all the political parties. Yeah, your final words, but, Dr. Mesa. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, people are prepared to pay due to political parties. Political parties have the knowledge the people who have the knowledge to ensure that they can come out with new funding or fundraising methods to make sure that the political parties have money. Okay. But the political parties are not doing the right thing. They are not being developmental enough right. to make sure that they can be self sustaining Right. They're not being developmental. They probably aren't being entrepreneurial as well, even the capitalist party. Uh, Dr. Kobe Mensah, thanks for making that quick for you. But you can stay on and listen Thank to you. Nana's quick well, uh, uh, wrap-up comments. Last comment, very loud double. <laughs> Well considering. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's very good. You know, he made mm -hmm. a very good suggestion that by virtue of the fact that A, B, C, D are not being done, mm. that is why people are not coming in to contribute. That is possible. But then, as far as my party is concerned, I don't think that people are making handsome contributions by virtue of the fact they want to hijack the party. No, the love of the party. But, but we've seen people hijack parties because of their contributions. Certainly, we've seen, we've seen how it's been a breeding ground for corruption. Certainly not my political party. Y you think so? Uh, yes. Certainly not our political Your final words, Nana. Yes. 
Um, my father was, I think that doctor has introduced a very laudable suggestions, very good suggestions. And uh, he started from, from he was uh, speaking from the ivory tower. <laughs> then virtually he landed. So I think that he has made some suggestions. But coming back to Donald Trump mm. issue, you see, in all sincerity, some of us are very much uh, um, happy about how things are being done in some parts of the world. Yesterday, Theresa May survived a vote, vote of no confidence. Over there, things have been done to perfection. Ex again, you, the politicians, are, are the ones running the government. So these are things for you to see and to introduce and to make you the see, country you better, see, which is what you sister, promised anyway. Sister, so if it's not happening, it's a failure sister, on your part. In the U.S., in the U.S., people started learning about reading and writing. More than about four or five hundred years. No, but that's a very easy excuse, and and if and and, and quite UK, frankly, quite lazy. UK, a university has been as a stand for more than nine hundred years. Stratford on an above, where Shakespeare attended, more than nine hundred years. I am saying that look, MPP as a party, I'm not something political, but look, as a party, the measures we put in place, the next hundred years, all things being equal. When some all of us are dead, the, the next generation will realize that look. Okay. So the hope, uh, yes, the hope is in the next easy. generation. How much are you going to charge for your filing fees and your oh, nomination fees? Oh, we don't have we are talking about twenty twenty. Yes. Oh, speaking for myself as an individual, if it will be okay, we should uh, just open the thing free, individuals should just file. Oh really? Oh yeah, speaking for myself. Oh that that will mean that uh, so many people will come. It out. doesn't change anything. You see, it doesn't change anything. And this year, let me make be very honest. The three hundred and twenty thousand mm. is still on the higher side. Mm. In all sincerity, it's still on the higher side. Okay. Oh yeah, in all sincerity, it's still on the higher side. But you see, at the end of the day, whether three twenty or four hundred, the, the the system is so skewed in favor of President Muhammad that eventually he's going to win. It's easy for you to talk about it because it's uh, someone else's party. No, 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 but but what, what's going to happen in your own party? Will the system be so skewed for, uh, for pre President uh, Kufuado? I doubt if any single individual is going to challenge him. Okay. This is my personal view. You don't think because anybody Because he has lived up to expectation. He has done well. The party in your, in has, your view? The party has done well. The president has done well. Exactly what has he done well? The NDC has said yesterday in a press conference you that me, you have failed in, you in, can, in, in, in dealing it, with I the economics. I need more than one or two hours. This press conference, let's, today I made a statement. With due respect to uh, Sami Janfi and uh, Akamba, I said, that, oh, look, some of us are not bothered. Because if you call Terry Harun and Dusu Ayaraga, they couldn't even... So they couldn't succeed in bringing us down. Fifi Kwati. Those days, Fifi Kwati, fast facts. It's Fifi Kwati. Fifi Kwati. Yes. When the man present fast, English, English, fast facts. That's a rough fact. Exhibition of fast knowledge, fast. exhibition. Fifi Kwati, Harun Adusu, Ayarega. They couldn't even match us. Then back by Amabe Nwado. They couldn't match us. Then you are not talking about political new facts. I'm not running them down. I think that they are just trying to create the impression that they are also there. Ooh, you're calling them political what? I, oh, political neophytes. Neophytes. Yes, Those are in, who and who? In, 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 in theology. Those are who? In theology. Those are who? Sami Jemfi and who? Oh, yes. In theology, when they say you're a neophyte, you are not, you are not uh, insulting you. But I'm saying that, oh, a new person, mm -hmm. if you read the Art Fellowship, okay. ODD, or the, the Philosophical mm -hmm. Science Society, so the point for, the, for you is that nobody, you don't think that anybody within the NPP will dare uh, 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 contest, right. contest Anai Kufuado? From, from your personal From your personal, and, and you wish that the party will make your nomination and your filings free. Exactly. Because nobody will challenge I'm the president that, anyway. I'm saying that, look, he has done well. The president has done well. The party also has done well. We are human beings, at least. Well, there may be shortcomings left, right, and center. But in all sincerity, in all honesty, the MPP has done well. Let's okay. be very honest and sincere. Okay. We need to wrap up this conversation. Basically, it was about political, political party, party funding. Political party financing, yes. yes. I so think that, you see, what we, we can done. do is that the situation on the ground, the situation on the ground as we find ourselves, it is not going to be easy to ask every supporter, every sympathizer of the party to contribute to Some, Like I said, some that person will be even be interested in getting a poster from you. 
Okay, so it's up to you, the politicians, to make life better no, for the people. No, we are making things better. To, to make life better for the people so we that they can, they can contribute, for, 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 not just financially, but with their intellect. And the future generation. Thank you very much, Nana. It's a pleasure coming. talking Nana to you. Nana, au revoir. <laughs> for the record, the first time I've been to this studio. Okay, you're welcome. I'm sure you loved it. Uh, very well. I'll be coming in recent times. <laughs> And I'll be Wahin is the uh, current deputy uh, general secretary uh, for the uh, NPP, the governing NPP. We've been talking about political party funding. Bottom line is that the persons in the country are educated. They are empowered to make sure that, you know, our experience as a country is enriched by their experiences.